What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, I'm going to be explaining to you guys why you don't have abs and how to get them. Let's get started. All right guys, so let's get started. So today I'm gonna to be explaining the reasons why you don't have abs, and then I'm gonna be showing you how to start getting them. Now of course, everybody has abs, everyone has abdominals, but a lot of people have trouble making them visible or just trying to get more aesthetic. So I've broken it down into three main reasons why you may not have visible abs. The first reason being nutrition. You need a low body fat percentage to even make your abdominals visible. So it's gonna help a lot if you're on a caloric deficit and if you're eating clean. And incorporating diuretic foods such as asparagus. Sometimes you can have a low body fat percentage but still have a lot of water retention. So make sure that you're drinking lots of water but make sure that you're always sweating during your workouts. If your nutrition is on point and that doesn't seem to be the problem, the next reason could be you're not having the proper engagement. You wanna make sure that you're really engaging your core even before you start to do the exercise. So engage that core before you start training and while it's engaged, then you begin to do your reps. You really wanna feel these movements. You don't just wanna be moving through these exercises, moving through the motions because you're not really engaging, you're not really gonna grow and get stronger and more aesthetic in that muscle, your abdominals. If you're just moving through the motions of the exercise and you're not actually properly engaging, you can actually be incorporating very little of abdominals in the first place. But if that doesn't seem to be the issue, it could be the third reason. You need to train harder and you need a more strategic approach into your training. If the only way you're getting your ab training in is at the end of your workouts for 10 minutes, that's not enough abdominal training. You need to train your abs just like any other muscle group in your body, if not even more. That's the most important muscle group. Look how big it is. Your core is the fundamental supporter for every lift, every exercise you do, you engage your abs. So this is the most important muscle that you have, which is why you need to be dedicating at least one full day, just like you would for any other muscle group, one full training day just for your abdominals. Not 10 minutes at the end of every workout, which is fine too, but you need one dedicated day every single week just for abs. You also need a strategic approach to your training. You need to be incorporating all angles, all different styles of abdominal training. On the ground, hanging, holding yourself up, high intensity, static holds, etc. It's gonna help a lot if you are pre-fatiguing your abdominals during your workouts. Focus on the exercises that are really gonna kill your abs first and then go on to the other exercises that you may need to support your weight or hold up from and continue on your abdominal training. A lot of times when you're doing other moves like hanging for support or holding your body up, there's other muscle groups or other things that can get in the way from focusing on your abs, such as your grip might give out or your shoulders aren't strong enough for that particular move to go on as long as your abs could. So focus on your strategic training. Now I'm gonna show you guys a workout that's gonna incorporate everything that we just talked about and we're gonna show you how to apply them into your workout regimen. We're gonna show you how a real ab day, a real abdominal workout should look like. So the first exercise we're gonna go into is in and outs for 45 seconds. Then we have bolt hold for 45 seconds. Next we have Russian twist for 45 seconds. High knee taps for 45 seconds. High knee raises 15 times. L-sit kicks 12 times, and then we're gonna finish off with an L-sit hold for 20 seconds. Guys, if you guys cannot keep up during this exercise right here, just go on for as long as you can. Eventually, you're gonna start hitting the proper numbers, but don't give up. If you feel yourself fatiguing, take that little break, but don't stop until the move is done. First move, in and out for 45 seconds, let's go. Make sure you're jumping all the way out, all the way in, guys. Engage that core. Hold it tight. Squeeze your core. we have bolt hold so keep
Keep that core tight. Engage the core before you even start. And then keep it engaged the whole exercise. Once you feel that core starting to diminish its engagement, ah, squeeze it back again. You wanna make sure your core is activated the whole time. It's super important that you learn to breathe while you're activating your core. That's something you can do just standing up, not even doing an abdominal exercise. But once you can learn to breathe while keeping a strong core, a lot of this is gonna get a lot easier. All right guys, next we're gonna move into Russian twist. Remember, keep that core tight from here, then go into the move. Make sure that your core is already pre-engaged. Moving on, we have high knee taps, 45 seconds. Bring those knees up, guys. Really crunch every time you bring a knee up. Activate that core. So this routine right here, guys, you can do in the comfort of your own home. So keep this up, guys, and eventually you'll be getting your reps up, you'll be getting your numbers up. This next move we have is high knee raises. You can take two chairs together, two boxes, two ledges, whatever you have, and we're gonna do this exercise right here. Let's go for 15 times. When you're moving into this, make sure that you've already engaged your core and that you're gonna keep your body straight, completely straight, aligned with your arm and your delt. Don't have your delt in front, don't be too far back. Try to stay as straight as possible. Here we go. So we have the core engaged. Now let's go for it. to just rush through them like i said before you want to make sure that you're actually engaging while you're doing these exercises make sure you're actually contracting your abdominals and make sure that you're going a full range of motion doing this as fast as possible is not going to get you anywhere you have to feel the movements you have to engage these reps so the next move we have is l sit kicks we're going to go for 12. engage control guys couldn't do all 12 right there just don't give up keep going if you have to drop down go back up 
and keep going. All right, we're at the last exercise right now. We have an L-sit hold for 20 seconds. This is the last exercise, so I want you guys to really make this one count. Squeeze, pre-engage your abs, hold, controlled. Do not try to swing. If you feel like your legs are giving out, just go into a tucked L-sit, all right? But I want you guys to try to hold that for as long as you can. Here we go. have it guys that's the first round you want to be able to do this routine four times in total to complete the workout but thank you guys so much for following along if this workout or any of the tips helped you at all definitely leave a like comment and share it with someone that may find this video helpful and if you guys want more abdominal workouts or a complete workout program to getting you into sick sick shredded shape and not just looking strong but actually being strong sign up right now to fenix.com Abdominals and core engagement is the main key to all our workout programs. So sign up right now to fenix.com and get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna get you in the best shape of your life. It's like having us as a personal trainer in your pocket. I've seen synthetics athletes make insane transformations in just a couple weeks. So if you want that to be you, sign up right now to fenix.com. And don't forget guys, we post every Sunday at 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And the first person to comment, like, and share the video is always gonna win Synthetics gear. So I'll see you guys next Sunday at 8 p.m. Love you guys. Peace out.